Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. With 260 fighter jets in its inventory, Su-30 MKI forms the backbone of Indian Air Force. This is huge number of fighters which is enough to cause havoc. However, in the era of electronic warfare, these fighters need upgrade under Super Sukhoi program. From what it seems, India is following staggered approach to upgrade Su-30 MKIs rather than Big Bang. Existing Su-30 MKI fleets are being equipped with new radar warning receiver. DARE has now developed all digital RWR called Dhruti for Su-30 MKI fleet which is based on the experience of D-29 RWR developed for MiG-29 UPG fleet. Back in August 2021, it was reported that Indian Air Force is going ahead with Rs. 1000 crore project for the upgrade of RWR for the fleet of 125 Su-30 MKIs. Now, there are reports regarding the upgrade of another major component of Su-30 MKI. In a big boost to Indian Air Force capability, HL and BEL has signed a contract for co-development and co-production of long-range dual-band indigenous infrared search and track system or IRST for Su-30 MKI. This will aid to strengthen the capabilities of Su-30 MKI in detecting ultra-stealthy aircraft like F-22 Raptor and Chengdu J-20. At present, Su-30 MKIs are integrated with Russian IRST that includes a day and night FLIR capability and is used in conjunction with helmet-mounted sighting system. The OLS-30 is combined IRST and laser ranger device using a cooled broad wave band sensor. It has detection range of up to 90 km while the laser ranger is effective up to 3.5 km. Targets are displayed on the same LCD display as the radar. Israeli lightning targeting pod is used to target the laser guided munitions. The original lightning pod includes a long range FLIR a TV camera, laser spot tracker to pick up target designated by other aircraft or ground forces and an electro-optical point and inertial tracker which enables the engagement of target even when partly obscured by clouds or counter measures. It also integrates a laser rangefinder and flash lamp powered laser designator for delivery of laser guided bombs, cluster and general purpose bomb. Earlier in 2018, the Defense Acquisition Council has accorded approval for undertaking design and development of long-range dual-band infrared imaging search and tracking system for Su-30 MKI under Make 2 subcategory and subsequently for procurement of at least 100 IRST under by Indian IDD M category. IRST system is crucial part of advanced fifth generation aircraft as it plays a critical role in detecting heat sinking missiles and locate and destroy enemy targets in radar denied environment. HL and BEL proposed IRST system will be a high-end strategic technology product in the field of defense avionics and technically competitive to existing IRST system in the global market with features of television, day camera, infrared and laser sensors in a single window for air-to-air -air and air-to-ground target tracking and localization. The system will perform passive search, detection and tracking of airborne targets at all aspects against ground, clutter, clouds and reflecting water surfaces by day and night and in presence of IR countermeasures. The laser rangefinder provides accurate range measurement for the employment of short-range air-to-air missiles and against ground targets. Overall, the system will be far more superior than existing Russian IRST onboard Su-30 MKI. Now let's also quickly look into how IRST works. IRST looks for temperature differences using liquid hydrogen or nitrogen to cool the sensor to extremely low temperature which provides a contrast as compared to the outside. Then it relies on the fact that the air is very cold at high altitude and any fighter airframe moving through the air at several hundred knots or particularly supersonic speed heats up a lot so the temperature difference is pretty huge. The IRSTs are also hugely affected by the weather condition. 
The IRC systems are heat seeking sensors just like forward looking infrared pots or FLIR pots but they go a step further by enabling users to search and track individual airborne targets. Since IRC sensors are simply receiving and emitting heat signal they are called passive sensors. In other words they do not emit signals of their own like radars which transmit radio waves. This enables the tracking fighter to avoid alerting the target's radar warning receiver which is designed to react to active radar signals. In a within visual range dogfight, an IRS system can enable the user to possess an enhanced level of situational awareness of the combat zone without having to switch on the radar thus avoiding the risk of being exposed to the enemy. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.